Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So yeah, it has been some time. I'm not uploaded some videos. I'm not feeling well and you know, I still have some throat problem. So yeah, I had planned to do a lot of, uh, you know, different things like uh, GFG essentials and uh, more lead code problems. And I have to finish the graph problems of Love Bumper DSA sheet. So I'll be posting those videos, you know, Raju algorithm, Prims, Kruskal, all those things. But now I would like to, you know, discuss uh, bi-weekly contest 80. So I know I'm one day late, but I'll be doing today's contest also. And maybe in the afternoon, I'll upload those videos. So let us see this problem. Count subarrays with score less than K. Actually, the difficulty is hard, but it is very simple. And uh, I think many people would have seen the difficulty is hard and they have not attempted it only. But if you have solved this problem, which one? If you have solved, uh, you know, count subarrays with some less than K. So what is the difference between this problem and here? Score. So what is score defined over here? It is the sum of the subarray and product with its length. So sum of subarray product with length is score. But this problem, most of you might have done, right? So count subarray with some less than K. So whenever such kind of problem comes, like longest subarray with some K, shortest subarray with some K, longest subarray with K duplicates or K unique elements. So always something related to sliding window, right? Sliding window or uh, hash map, something like that, correct? And I think most of the people over here who are seeing this video, may have already noticed that in my channel only I have this video, right? If I find, because I have uploaded more than 430 videos now, but I have solved this problem in my channel. So count subarrays with some less than K uses sliding window concept. How does that exactly happen? So let me remove this. So let us take this array, two, one, four, three, five, and K is 10, right? So if the problem, if the problem was count the subarray with sum less than K, what would you do? So you would find the sum, you would find the uh, prefix sum or the cumulative sum. So it will be two here, three, seven, 10, 15, correct? Now 15 is greater than or equal to K, true. So the sum has now become greater. Okay, sum has now become greater or actually it is saying less than K. So what exactly has to be done is over here only when sum becomes 10, so 10 is equal to K, right? So over here, we should shrink the window. So now the window size was still here because until now, there was no problem. Sum was two, then three, then seven, then 10. Correct. But when it became 10, the problem happened. So we start shrinking the window from the left side, which means we keep subtracting from the sum these values. So with the two pointer approach, we keep shrinking the window, right? Until when we shrink the window, until the sum again becomes less than K. So in this problem, what is the difference? no big difference only the thing is here we have to consider sum of the subarray and the length correct and the length so if i say there is a pointer over here r and the pointer over here is l so what is the length of subarray r minus l plus 1 so the right pointer will keep expanding and when will the left pointer expand when the window has to shrink, when will the window shrink? When the condition, which condition? The score, 
the score becomes greater than or equal to k. So over here it is sum. This is a general problem. So I am trying to deduce the algorithm from a general problem. And that's how it is done the best. Try to you know, associate the problem you have already solved. So if you check this problem and see if it is hard and if you quit, then it will not make sense. So don't do that. Read the problem and try to associate with something you've already done. We have already done this. Count subarray with less than k. So instead of sum here, it is score. So again, coming back. So length of subarray we know into sum. This should be less than k here. Okay. I hope I'm making myself clear. So it is a very simple sliding window problem. So I just wrote the code, I'll show you. All right. So I'm keeping this left pointer and this uh, variable L over here is used to shrink the window from the left hand side. So see, I am finding the sum, the cumulative sum I'll find. And see, now I'm checking if the sum of the subarray into the length of the subarray. So length of subarray i minus l plus one. You may argue, hey, over here you've written r, anything. So in this case, I have taken i, okay. So in this case, i minus l plus one will be length of subarray from where to where, from where to where, from l, from index l to index i. So this will be the subarray. Okay, so this is the length of the subarray and this is sum. And if you multiply and if it is greater than or equal to K, until then we need to shrink the window. Why? The problem is saying find number of subarrays whose score is strictly less than K, strictly less than. So that is why greater than or equal to. And over here, we are including answer plus equal to i minus l plus one because all those subarrays, how many ever subarrays can be formed, those will give the answer, right? So i minus l plus one subarrays we need to keep adding to our answer. So this is simple sliding window solution. And I try to explain from a problem that we have already done. So this is a hard problem on lead code, but it's very easy. So, you know, don't just quit because it's a hard problem. As you can see, it's accepted. All right. So these days I'm posting my solutions on lead code only, whatever problems I'm solving. So you can check those, you know, I'm solving the, this one, June challenge, right? So, you can upvote over there itself if you feel like you can read those solutions. So that's all for this video. And uh, until the next video, take care, stay safe, keep learning, keep growing, stay tuned. Bye.